So what do you think this will mean for turnout in November among Floridians? Because there's another ballot initiative that was allowed to proceed involving the legalization of marijuana. So is this going to help President Biden or is this going to help former President Trump? It's a really great question. You know, I think what's so unique about both cannabis and abortion is that these are issues that have broad based support. I mean, I mentioned with the abortion initiative that more than 35 percent of signatures were collected by registered Republicans. And in fact, when the decision came out uh, on Monday, uh, former Republican elected officials also issued out statements of support and, and more will come. Cannabis, same thing. I mean, cannabis has such a huge support, especially from uh, conservatives who believe in less government intervention and, and making decisions uh, independently. And so I actually think you, you will see dramatic turnout, but I, I really think it could go either way um, on the national ticket, which is why it's, it's really important for us to reach that 60 percent threshold by embracing the diversity of support on abortion and not isolating it to, to one political party or the other. To that point, I think it's fair to say that we're in this situation because of Republican majority legislature that is out of touch even with their own electorate. The fact that 35 percent of a million support of this petition tells me that the six week abortion ban that was signed into law by Governor Ron DeSantis is not even popular among their own base. And in fact, several Republicans voted no on the six week abortion ban on the House floor. Not enough to stop the bill from passing, but definitely an indicator that even some Republicans feel like their legislature and their governor has gone too far.